Minecraft with two or more computers on one account it is possible once again thanks for a user on my YouTube channel. Here is the document explaining this. This will be linked in the description. Anyway, let's get on. Step one is download the process explorer and it is on microsoft it is free it is made by microsoft for windows it is 100 safe click on it it will download save it as a zip save we're going to open this thing you should download pretty quick and you're going to get this now you're going to extract those files somewhere i already extracted them and they are located right here in this folder next you want to open this pro c e x p 64.exe you're going to open that up and it's going to pop up with this which is a lot of information now what you want to do is you want to just start closing some of these so it makes it a little bit more organized now that's nice and compact we're going to close all this now we're going to open up minecraft launcher so what you do this is the java version this is not bedrock this is on 1.17 which it works and we're going to simply click play now as soon as we click play it is going to open up the game and then close the launcher i'm not quite sure if the launcher is in the background but anyway we got to keep the game open and the launcher open at the same time so once the game launches here there we go we're going to just go right back and launch the game once again now that the game and the launcher are both open at the exact same time. So that right there is kind of the first step. Now for the second step, you're going to head over back to this thing that we had downloaded and you're going to go under the file explorer, which all programs are kind of under. This is kind of like task manager on steroids. And we're going to go down to the Minecraft, as you can see right down here, and we're going to look for this Java. This is running the game right now. And what you want to do is just double click on it. It'll open a window here. And right here, this is the second one. It says path and then command line. The whole entire command line, we're going to click on it. Do control A to select all of it. You can also highlight it manually and then copy or control C. So I'm going to control C to copy the whole entire thing. Next, we're going to head over to our desktop and we're just going to create a new text document. It'll just exa look exactly like that. It'll probably just say one. Okay, so we're going to open this and then we're going to paste what we have just copied in that Java thing right there. All right. And then we're going to file save. Awesome. Now we're going to go back over to this file. And we're going to click rename and we're going to rename the whole thing, not just the name of the text file, but also the file itself. There should be nothing in there. And we're just going to type LAN because it's just going to be easier to know what that is. And then very importantly, dot BAT. This is a bat file, which can be run. And it's going to ask you if you change this file extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to do it? Absolutely. Click yes. And there we go. Now, if we simply would click this, it would simply just open up Minecraft. It's just bypassing the launcher, which we want to do. Now, what you're going to go is you're going to go to your keyboard and press the Windows key and R. This will bring up run. You can also simply just search it just like that. Anyway, back to run. You're going to search for something called percent app data percent, which is a file location. Now, once you have percent app data percent, you're going to click OK and it's going to open this location. Next, you want to go to the dot Minecraft, which is kind of like the local storage area. We're just going to simply move this LAN B dot BAT that we have created and move it into this folder. We're going to move here. Awesome. There it is. If we refresh it, it'll probably move right there. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. By the way, make sure you don't close any of these windows. Now on to the next step. And this is the more difficult part of it. You're going to right click on the land.bat that we have created. And we're going to go to edit. Then in the edit, we're going to hit control F to find something. Make sure you click this wrap around so it searches the whole entire document. And the thing that we're going to look for in here is dash D Java as in J A V A. And we're going to click find next and it's going to find this right over here. So essentially what this is, is this is the temporary file path location for Minecraft that we have open. I'm going to close this because I know where it's at. So I'm going to just scroll over and you're going to have this path file location of where it's having the temporary file location. You can see there's the file name right there. So if we actually go back into our dot Minecraft under the percent app data percent, go to bin, as you can see right up here, dot Minecraft bin. Here is the one that is, it's opened right now. You can see the date right there, which is exactly today's date five minutes ago. We're going to simply copy this. Copy, control C, works too. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this into our downloads folder. So if you go down to our downloads folder here, mine is rather full because I have a lot of stuff. That's going to work fine. We're just going to simply paste it here. So now that we have this folder pasted into it, we're just going to simply open it. I'm going to go up here to the path file location and we're going to double click on it and it's going to give us 
all of the C drive users, my name, downloads, and that is the folder location. So we're going to highlight the whole thing, you know, do control A, control C, and then we're going to go back to our document up here. And right where we copied before the C drive users, Zach E, app data, roaming, Minecraft, and then the file name, we're just going to simply control V, which is going to what we have copied in the last part right in here, the file folder location. And we're going to tell it to go to not this location, but to this location right there. Now, if you set this to something different, it will be different and it will not work for you. You have to make sure that the file location actually goes to this file location. Now that that's done, we're going to do save. We're going to save that. All right. For the next step is actually changing the username. Please note that this is not the host machine where we're running the Minecraft uh, game on. I'm going to be doing that on my laptop. Now for this, now to change the username, you do control F and then we're going to find dash username and find next. And there it pops up. There's my Minecraft username. And I'm just going to simply change this to mixact2. That's exactly it. And I'm going to do control save, control S, file save, same diff. Now that that's done. This lan.bat file, which is located in our .minecraft folder, is all ready to go. We can actually close all of this and to test it, that it's just simply the, the same Minecraft. This is all. I'm going to open up this app data again, and I'm going to go to .minecraft and our lan.bat. Now, you don't want to go to this every single time. So what you can do is do create shortcut, creates a shortcut, and then move that to your desktop. And I'm pretty sure in here, you can even change the icon to Minecraft or whatnot. You can do a lot and then name it minecraft.bat to differentiate it from um, this one right here. So if we just open it, it's going to do this, which is which is command prompt. And now it's opening the game. It's opening the game like any other time you are opening up the game, just without the launcher. And you're going to see here, now switching to my camera here, you can see that's the one we've been working on, recording it right here. And here's my laptop with Minecraft 1.17 on. Play it, this is the host. We've done nothing with this laptop. All of the land.bat file stuff has been done on this desktop computer. Now if we just simply load a game up on my laptop here, and we're just gonna do single player, and then we're gonna do create a new world. Uh, cheats on, let's say, and we're gonna call it land test, just like that. And we're gonna just simply create this new world. All right, so here is my brand new world that I've just created. Now if we hit the escape key and then open to LAN, start LAN world, it will give us this number, which is a port number. What you do is you grab this computer's IP, which it will actually just show up in Minecraft here. So you don't even have to worry about that. But if you do, you just simply go to Windows key CMD for a command prompt and then type in IP config. Once you do that, it'll tell you what your IP address 192.168.12 dot one six eight and then the port number you would put colon and then the port number right down here which is five five nine six five now back on my desktop computer we don't actually have to do that now this is the minecraft that has been opened from the lan.bat file now if we click multiplayer it will actually show up because this is broadcasted over my lan here you can see mixzack 1881 which is my name for my minecraft account but for when we do this one click join server it's going to let us through because the names are different because we didn't open this one through the browser. Now, if I go back to my laptop here, close this. Uh, let's see if I'm, see if I'm somewhere. There I am, and there you can see Mixzack2, which is what I name myself on this computer. There I am, and you're like, oh my goodness, it's fake. No, it's not fake. I will leave the document in my description if you, for some reason, don't know how to follow a video that was like, um, maybe not 100% perfect, but. I feel like this has captured how to actually do this. It was, it's not that hard. Uh, it does take a little bit and you only have to do this for the computer that you want to connect to the host. I did nothing with this laptop. This laptop is vanilla Minecraft. This one is the LAN one that you have to, uh, you can't just simply go through, can't simply go through the launcher every single time. Now it doesn't mess up this launcher. This launcher works perfectly fine, but you cannot connect to the game where you have the same username. This is the exact same account, by the way, Mixzack1881. What is my name on this one? Mixzack1881. All right. So you always have to, will like I have the shortcut down here. So if I open up the shortcut, command prompt, all of the stuff is opening it without the launcher. Give it a second. It'll pop up. This will always be in the background. You can just kind of minimize that. And now it's, it works simply as that. It's actually amazing. Thank you to, um, let's see if I can find him. Thank you for the username of Mio. 
a huge help you gave me the document and then i was able to make this video so huge shout out to that person because that person is what made this video happen this works with i think when this was first coming out it was working with one 16.4 or whatever it was and I'm testing it on the latest which is 1.17 as you can see right there anyway that's pretty much how you do it it's pretty easy a um, little hard on the thing hopefully I explained it uh, comment section down below if you need help as well as my discord I'll link it down below it's just like kind of like a help desk discord nothing really happens there um, yeah but that's it thank you so much I'll leave this in the description so if you can follow along there as well and uh, yeah don't be, don't be afraid to ask stupid questions. I know not everyone is as computer literate as some of us are. And um, I'm just trying to here to help. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, have a good day.